All right, good day everybody. Welcome back to the Fish Dimension. Uh, you can probably guess what I'm doing here. Bobber, worm. Uh, we're trying to catch brim before they all go away for the, the cold season. Just have some fun with them, hopefully. And uh, might keep a few to eat if we can catch enough, but uh, we're here at Flat Swamp again, and the reason we keep coming here is because, as you can see, the water is chocolate milk, and that is all over High Rock Lake. Uh, some kind of lake turnover going on right now, and it has just made the fishing terrible because they can't see. Uh, here has been a little clearer lately than everywhere else because it's back in this little secluded cove. And uh, we've been doing better here. Uh, well, we've been catching fish here, and we haven't been catching fish anywhere else. So we keep coming here. They could care less. All right, there's a bite. Oh, got one. That's a bass. That's the only thing biting recently. Oh. First catch of the day, largemouth bass, which you have been seeing more on this channel than I ever thought you would. All right, so there we go. Nice, uh, nice little largy here at Flat Swamp again. It's going to be like three videos in a row that all have the same thing. Yeah, the colors here are always really nice. You can you can see that right there. All right, get gone. All right, you can get a little gill here. A little bluegill. I believe it is. They're all too small to eat. All right, here we go. Yes, yes. Got him this time. All right. Awesome. Feels heavy enough. Might be. He's pulling like a shell cracker, it might be. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Well, that's a big bluegill. That's a huge bluegill. Let's take that thing home and eat Yeah, this one's getting eaten. Yeah. All right. All right. Food. Dinner. Thanks for biting, bud. I was wondering where you guys were. Can you uh, fill up that bucket for me? Yes. Hold still. Good. All right, right on the camera, you little. Shit. The bobber was all the way in. Yeah, got him. All right, good job. Doesn't feel very big though. We'll see. No, he's small. Too small. Hmm. Yeah, too small. Too small. Take a look. Colors. Whoa! Nope. Or not. Or not. Okay, now I'm on one. <laughs> Mother f God d <laughs> What a cluster f Pretty good. Yeah. He's good enough. Hmm. I can get him mm, Yeah, he'll do. Oh, they're already got their winter colors. Look yeah, at they that. do. They're all purple and gold again. Yeah. Wow. He's already got his pink on. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna just let him take it because it doesn't matter if I gut hook him. Yeah. Got him. All right. He's good enough. Yeah, he'll do. You're good eating size, buddy. That one I caught was great. Actually, he might be a little small now that I get a good look at him. What well, he's going in the bucket because he's got hooked. Okay. All right, there's our prize catches today. One real nice big one and two moderately sized ones, but we need a lot more of that if we want to get a decent dinner out of them. I just lost my worm. No? All right, got him. This is a decent one. Decent enough. All right, 
There's the next little bluegill heading toward a frying pan near me. Alright, here's a bite. Gotcha. Alright. Feels like uh, I might take him. Uh, he's a bit on the small side. I don't know. What do you think? Take him it is. Yeah, even, even if we get nothing but a bunch of small ones, we'll uh, do the best we can filleting them and all. I'm shattered just everywhere in here. Gotcha. Too small, too small. Gotcha. Yeah, it's too small. You're lucky. You're a lucky fish. You're just a hair too small. Alright, I want something big. Where are the big ones? Damn tree. That looked like a good one too. I'm gonna try going just a slight bit deeper. Might want to go deeper, that seemed to instantly help. Okay. Yeah, I went down to like three feet. And I instantly got a bite. Oh god, fuck you! I hate that stupid sh**. I don't know. I'll never know. All right, I got one this time. It's just the most obnoxious shit you can do. Oh yeah, here's a decent one. Nice little gill there. <sighs> In the bucket. It's gonna be a bluegill fry, says I. Gotcha. Dead center. Yep. He doesn't feel too good, but they're biting there. Yeah, he's too small. Lucky. Lucky little fishy. Too small for me to eat. Go back to the briny deep. All right. Yeah, this, this does feel good. I'll take this. All right, stay on, bud. It's pulling nice and hard. Oh yeah, that's a nice big one. Yeah, that'll do. Let's get you away from the water. And toward the water I've provided. You're done, buddy. Give up. There we go. Another nice little bluegill. Oh, yeah. Getting a decent pot ready now. All right. You got one, huh? Looks like it's fighting pretty decent. Yeah, this one feels really good. Much better. Not great, but better. All right. Yeah, we'll take them. Yeah. Bucket's looking pretty good. All right. So we're back home. As you can see, we uh, we love Halloween in this house. Wanted to show you guys that before the season was over. <laughs> and uh, in here, got my baby uh, putting her finishing move on all the bluegill that we caught. 
And uh, here's something interesting I want to show you. At the very last second, my baby was messing around on the bank, trying to catch something that was biting her, and it turned out to be a decently sized shell cracker. You can see there by that little orange uh, spot on the periculum there. You've seen us catch big shell crackers before. This one is a good eating size. He is bigger than most of the other bluegill that we caught, and he's looking real good. I've already given him the coup de grace. Yep. All right, so we're gonna cook these fish up and have us some dinner. How many did we catch? Fourteen bluegill and one shell cracker. All right, that ought to make for a good meal. Good job, babe. Good eating. I don't want these fish so bad. All right, so there's half of what we call caught all filleted up there and seasoned and ready to go into the you know, the wok here. And there's my baby shoveling out the other half. Actually wound up being a really good uh, hunk of meat that we got out of that. And uh, we tried the, sh the shell cracker first separately and it's one of the best fish I've ever tasted. It was amazing. It was so good. Now let's put the other batch in there. All right, I'm gonna show you the meal when it's all finished up. What'd you season it with? Uh, dill, chili powder, paprika, garlic powder and garlic salt and a little bit not very much of basil and butter and butter and right. olive oil is what I fry it in all right great <laughs> this is gonna be good yeah the whole time we've been cooking we've had our little terrier pixie coming back and forth back and forth checking out what we're doing <laughs> there she is hey hey girl what you doing She waddles. She's a waddler. Pixie girl! Hey! What you doing? What you doing? What is this? What is it? Hmm? What? Oh, I don't have anything for you in that hand. That's right, I don't have anything for you in that hand. This dog could eat until she bursts. Asking for food. I'll give her some treats in a bit. All right, and finally, this is the final product here. That's my plate. That's my baby's plate. So we got uh, broccoli with butter and olive oil, and fish with all the the things we previously mentioned. Big plate of bluegill for each of us. And it was all from what, maybe three hours of fishing? Yeah. Not bad. You get a free dinner. All right, well, we're going to go eat this before it gets cold. Thanks for coming to the Fish Dimension.